about this whole business of prepacks. Um, over a period of time, um, I'm happy to extend credit to customers that actually we, we have a track record with because that's part of what doing business is. I have to take some risks. But, but new businesses that approach me and say, give us a £20,000 30 day bottomless pit, and you go, I've, I've looked on companies' house and actually your business isn't worth that. So I'm afraid I'm not going to do it. Now, we do that regularly. Um, and I know these customers then go and buy off my competitors and get credit terms straight away. Everybody wins. Uh, ultimately, the bubble will burst. And as we've seen recently, when it does burst, um, it, it causes a lot of fractions within the industry um, and, and everybody loses out. I mean, how's so, business for you? I mean, both in the commercial side and in the residential side? In a word, it's chaotic. Um, I don't think anyone predicted that, um, uh, that the sector that we're in was going to be as busy. Uh, some people were forecasting a, a sharp V bounce back. Some people were saying it was a U. Some people were saying it was a W. Um, we all had our own opinion, but I don't think anybody forecast that uh, the double glazing industry was going to be in, in boom mode uh, now. That colour obviously is very important in the business and you've cut the lead downs a lot, either cut, oh, the, cut the lead times down. I mean, how have you done that? Right. So we've worked closely with our supply chain, worked closely with De Koenig, who have been a bit of a forerunner in, uh, in the charge from the revolution of, of all the different colours. Um, that kind of gave us the, um, gave us the option of, uh, of using their stockpile, but we also made a commitment to our customers that we were going to hold more stock We've always offered painted PVC frames. Uh, we've recently changed the way we actually do that. So rather than manufacturing a product and then spraying the product, we now spray the bar lengths and make the windows out of the bar lengths. Uh, and then equally investment. So we've invested a lot of money in our uh, new aluminium factory. Within that, there is the paint plant. The paint plant has given us the flexibility to be able to be more responsive to customers' demands for colors. I mean, as far as PVCU goes, I mean, you supply, what, De Koenig, Residents, Spectus. Uh, I mean, you were Fabricator of the Year in G19. What are the growth areas for you in that one? The main growth area for us in the PVC sector would be the flush sash. Um, so clearly residents um, arguably uh, spent a lot of money and time developing that marketplace. Um, from my own point of view, when, if you're looking at the residence window and the decurning window from the outside, there isn't a great deal of difference. Um, from an installation point of view, the, the Koenig window being a 70 mil platform, um, it clearly has some some benefits over the 100 mil platform for the R9, um, and, it, and it's paying dividends. It's a great looking window, especially when you combine it with our star line finish, which gives the smooth, seamless welds. So yeah, the, the biggest um, the biggest growth area for our PVC area is definitely the flush dash window from the Koenig. But aluminium, of course, is very important to you, is it not? So yeah, clearly aluminium's of massive importance to us and um, we've grown year on year, uh, helped by this uh, three and a half million pound investment in the new factory. Um, so yeah, aluminium is a, is a massive part of, of our growth strategy going forward, not just um, not just in the last three years. I mean, can aluminium ever really compete with PVCU? Is it going to get back to a, a small price difference or will it always be a premium product? Uh, I think it depends what um, what product range you're talking about. So if you look at bifolds, um, bifold doors are a commodity. It's mass affordability, isn't it? Um, in terms of products such as patio doors, I think there's some factors that will limit um, limit it being mass market. Clearly, the, the profile is more expensive in the first place. Um, and by dint to the fact it's aluminium, you tend to have bigger patio doors, bigger glass panels, which make the make it more expensive. So I, th I think various products will have various markets. I don't think aluminium is ever going to be as mass marketable as PVC. Um, but yeah, it, I, I don't see any reason why it won't carry on expanding. You said nobody goes to Lincoln, but I remember you when you were set up in 1974 when I lived in Lincoln. I mean, you're the son of the original founder. What's your actual background? from a work point of view. Can I, can I point out, that if, um, if this goes out without me correcting you, I don't think my mother will ever speak to me again. So whilst my dad was the founder, without my mother, I don't think we would be in business. In terms of my development, I, I can't think, looking back with hindsight, I think there was some master plan uh, for me to be on this uh, accelerated um, double glazing management diploma scheme. Uh, I've done everything. And, and starting from the age of 14, I was, I was out 
uh, helping the guys on site, cleaning windows, I've fitted windows, I've painted factory floors. I've... <laughs> <laughs> and where do you go from here then? Uh, I'm a big believer in, in continuous improvement and for me, tomorrow has to be better than today. It's automation, it's AI, uh, it's, it's, it's actually bringing better systems and processes into our business that make uh, make it an easier journey for our customers, make it an easier journey for our, our staff. Um, so yeah, it's, it's about kind of product innovation, it's about process innovation. It's a package called Easy Admin, which allows our customers to uh, utilize a full CRM system, uh, which we give to them free of charge. Uh, so they can manage all their leads, they can manage all their appointments, they can manage all their surveys, they can order online, uh, they can get their delivery um, information online. It, it stores all their records, they can scan onto it. So effectively, it's, a, it's an office management tool for them. Um, and because that links into our systems and our databases, it means that, that we can constantly update it, we can cascade um, relevant, live, new information to them. Um, so it's a, it's a great platform. Yeah, finally, can, we've got to talk about the Green Homes Grant Scheme. Is that going to be successful? It, it'll have some limited success. I think as a headline, it served the government well, didn't it? I think it's got a lot of people thinking that they're going to get a lot more than they potentially will get. Uh, Clearly, it will give some opportunities to some people, and clearly, if 600,000 homes are improved and more energy efficient, then that, that's a good thing, isn't it? But ultimately, I don't think it's going to have a massive impact on our industry. No.